Hey everybody, this is Tambi and I'm back with another Transformers video review. <clears throat> this time I have Transformers Generations Nightbeat. Something that's kind of interesting about this, he is the third freaking repaint of Bumblebee. Um, <clears throat> but if you look at his his, um, his comic book, you actually see that they use the, uh, the jazz mold for this picture. And I much rather would have preferred the jazz mold. I really like that mold. I know that it's been way overused in the past also it is getting ridiculous for for bumblebee repaints oh gosh let's go ahead and um take a look at the back and we'll check out his bio and then his technical data all right so let's go ahead and get him out of his packaging and check him out Alright, and I'm back in here. I have Nightbeat out of his packaging and in his vehicle mode. You know, like I said before, this is the third release of Bumblebee that they've done for this these Transformers Generations line. Even in this one year, this is the third. And it is... That's that's crazy. Uh, I know on the comic I mentioned that they used uh, Jazz's mold as that. I think it would have looked nice, but I know that Jazz has... A ton of uh, repaints on him also so it's like you know do you repaint a figure that's been repainted a whole bunch or do you repaint a figure that's had a whole bunch of repaints throughout the year so it's like you know uh, what's the lesser of two evils kind of thing at least we finally got a night beat that is not the um, I know that uh, the Transformers Collectors Club had a, uh, a special figure for him it may have been I don't think it was one of the uh, one of the subscription figures, but I think it's may have been one of the the alternate ones that you could buy, and it was from an old gosh. Who did they use? Did they use a robot in disguise figure? I'm trying to remember. I don't remember who they used, but it was a, it was an older, already kind of dated figure. So finally, they got an updated one here, even though they used Bumblebee. So. Um, Hey, at least we got that. And then it, it comes with the two weapons that you can clip on there and you know, I'll let you use your imagination. You've probably already seen it 20 million times already. So for transformation, um, well, and let me show you his paint apps and stuff. So it, it's, you know, not without saying it's a nice flame paint app. It's a little, I wish they would have done an undercoat of like white or something on here or made it a little bit darker because it's, you know, you can see the, the blue bleeding through here and you know the the this doesn't look half bad but this one you know I don't know see you see it on the back back here also but hey, at least they colored in the uh the tail lights and they did try to color in the um the back windshield a little bit but it's still it's a little different color but it's almost to the point where you can't really tell I can tell by looking at it with my eyes but I can't really tell with the camera so it's <laughs> come on alright so I guess if you didn't notice we're already getting into transformation so Unconnect that, and then this goes on top of there. And this one, he actually, um, when I got him out of the package, he was actually connected. Yeah, he's connected into there with my um, my gold bug. He doesn't, or my gold fire. He doesn't. He doesn't connect into there. So at least that may have been fixed. I'm not really sure um, with this in and out oh, arms down in and out oh, come on I'll go ahead and rotate that out so that doesn't clip back in again and then you want to lower down the chest and that reveals the head 
nice new head sculpt. So at least we got that. Flip out the lid, the feet. Flip out the feet. Then you take and you can push in the uh, the fenders. Come on, fenders, push in. So there's Nightbeat in his uh, robot mode, and I have no idea what to do with these things. These things, these things suck as weapons. I I don't like them. Um, I have no idea what to do with them now. Maybe uh, I'll just. Something like that. Maybe I'll make them like Tomfa shields or something. Oh, gosh, I have no idea. Hmm. I don't know. There's little holes in the back of his arms that they can fit into. So, jeez. I don't know, I'll figure out something with these weapons. I have no earthly idea how to make these a little bit different. Since his weapons are... I don't like them. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> um, so for... I'll just go ahead and skip over this. Um, for his articulation, once again, the head is, is riveted in, so it's just left and right. There is light piping on it, so that's nice. Uh, forward, back, and it's not in a ball joint. It's just a, a swivel. Um, then you can go out like that to do that. There's a, a couple of joints in the, in the shoulders. There's one right here, and then there's one right here so that you can get out. You can get out there, or you can go like that to get it all the way out. You have your elbow joint, you have right above the elbow joint, you have the swivel of the arm. Then there's nothing on the arm or the hands. You come down here, there's, I think there's a waist swivel, yep, waist swivel. Then uh, ball joint, hips, forward, back, out to the side, twist here, knee joint. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff with the uh, the feet. So, you know, even though it's another Bumblebee repaint, I think it's worth going out and buying this guy just so that you don't have to buy a uh, a dated Collectors Club exclusive figure just to have a night beat. So, at least at least Hasbro did that for us and and released something that we can at least have as as a night beat, even though it is another another bumblebee or whatever or or another jazz or whoever they would have used at least now they've they got this character out you know we can have him represented with a figure and with that that'll go ahead and do it for my night beat review uh don't forget to check out my other videos subscribe follow me on twitter this has been tambiato and i'll see you next time